Hello, my wonderful friends. Magus with you on a beautiful day. Welcome back to the library. I am excited to share with you the best science fiction book of all times. My friends, and this is going to shock you. This will surprise many, but by the end of this, I think you will agree with me because you'll see why it really is. So it is A Psalm for the Wild Built and A Prayer for the Crown Shy by Becky Chambers. And what I love about this that sets it apart from all the others it is you you see with like most sci-fi it's like this dystopian uh just a very bleak future that awaits us all and this shows us a different possibility of how beautiful the world could be we need more of this my god i, I see how many kids now are so depressed and I see why. Look at what all the movies and the books uh, are talking about. My God, I, I even think of religion. I, I remember being in Sunday school, right? And they tell you the story uh, of the flood and, and how God wiped out the earth, but then uh, he put up a rainbow in the sky that he'll never flood it again. And every time you look at that, you'll think, we'll never be flooded again. But then they go and tell you, well, next time though, he's going to burn the earth up in fire. That is terrifying. Well, I don't know how I'm supposed to feel when I see the rainbow now. I mean, is water completely off the table? Because I can swim like a motherfucker, but fire, my friends. And so the whole world, it seems like there's nowhere to go but destruction. And, you know, you see the self-fulfilling prophecy in books. My friends, we need some better books. And that's what this is. My God, look at this. Look at this. It's a monk. And he's a tea monk. And, you know, I think of gypsies. He's got like this little gypsy cart. And he pulls it with a bike. And it brings out that that young boy in me. You know, his gypsy cart reminds me of like um, Mary Poppins' bag. Remember that? She could reach in and just pull out anything. There's a whole world in that bag. That That's how I feel about his little gypsy cart. And then he... he he moves it with a bike and he goes to different towns and people come to him that just need to be uplifted and he makes them a special tea just for them. And then if it couldn't get better, he makes friends with a robot and they become best friends and they just share a journey together, an adventure. And they go out into the wild. You know how much I love any book that they go out into the, into the wild, into the woods my friends, and they just talk about life and what it means, you know, and there's so much to it. It's a great story. Uh, you know, like the, the robots, they, they became conscious, you know, and, and so then the human said, okay, well, it wouldn't be right for us to keep you in the factories. And they said, you know, do what you want to do. And they, they moved out into the wild. And so then as a robot is born in the wild or uh, the first thing they see, it becomes their name. So we, got, we have Mosscap the robot and then Dex the monk. And it's just, it, it's a great story. It, it reminds me a lot of that cozy fantasy that we're always talking about. There's no high stakes. There, there's no enemy. My God, hey, how about this? Everyone just get along. Right? It's this, and this solar punk, uh, the, the, this idea of a sustainable future where, where nature and technology all get along and blend perfectly. I love this. My friend, now the only thing I, that was hard for me was uh, some of the writing because Dex, is, is, he's written as uh, his pronouns like they and them and oh. For I, I struggled so hard, you know, because I've been reading my whole life and I'm getting pretty old. And so I, I did. I, I got frustrated many times trying to work it out because my mind just doesn't work that way yet. Uh, but, you know, I, it's hard to teach old dog new tricks, but, but I'm willing to learn. I, I'm trying to wrap my mind around it. That's the only part I got frustrated with. Uh, but the story, it sticks with you. I love the story. I love the hope. I love the friendship. I think it's beautiful, my friends. And then it comes in these two little hardback books, these cute covers with Dex in his little cart. 
My friends, and it's just, it's one of those stories. You know, I read so many books, and it's a lot of, I, I forget. I, I forget the characters, their names, what really happened. This one just sticks with you, and I love that. A beautiful story. So anyway, guys, I wanted to share that with you. Let me know if you read that, what you thought about it. And no, I love, love, love you.